here on my way back to the house to have lunch, but you can't just ignore the scrap, right? <laughs> this is this is just nice. I'm going to I'm going to check this out. I might be able to use that uh Oh, yeah, here are the uh here are the shelves. I usually don't take the shelves too, but you know what? Mm, I might be able to use this. So I got to give it a shot anyway. Hope everybody's having a good day today. Uh, I think the rest of these, uh, that's got a little pump in it for like a pond pump. It looks like it's in good shape. We'll have a look at what else we got here. Uh, yeah ah almost i almost got that this is like for cleaning a pond i guess they've got a pond in there all right uh let's keep going uh i might disassemble this one later get a nice cord i got time to do some disassembly video and uh oh it's a samsung too Ah, very heavy. Mm. Ha. So, I got a lot of extra stuff to do today with the trailer and that kind of stuff, but it's it's just so much fun. I can't stop scrapping. Well, this will scrap nicely. Okay, Barky Bark. You got a fan. And that's uh, always welcome. Oh. Ouch. Hmm. Oh, that's not good. There's a hole, I don't know if you can see it, there's a hole right there and I fell into it. Ah, man, that should not be, a, there should not be an open hole there. Yep. Uh, wounded in four places. Ah, my pride taking the biggest damage. Okay. Mop here was a piece of scrap and then I went to pick it up and nope it's not scrap it's what's holding this fence up so definitely can't take that this fence would fall down if I did onward we'll look for some real scrap that thing is that scrap nope this is nope well a little bit of scrap It's heavier than it looks. I see some big scrap. It's an oven. Not the microwave oven, the real big oven. We're gonna get that thing on in just a minute here. All right, I'll be right back, Kelsey. And it looks like we got uh, some bonus material too. I decided that this uh, shelving was not uh, the kind of shelving that we need. It's very flimsy, which is probably what the uh, previous owner thought of it too. <clears throat> Old boots. Uh, 
a backpack of some kind. I gotta rearrange a couple of things here, I think. Oh, well, maybe not. I think it's not, it's... Uh, all right. Looks like a circuit breaker and a circuit breaker panel on here as well. So, kind of looking forward to doing the uh, Stripmeister video. Uh. going to be a tight squeeze but I think we can get it in there <clears throat> the little scrapper wanted to go with me because uh, She's been at home all day and she's dressed to go out, but no one's taking her out. And she wanted to go to the park. And I said, well, you can go to the park, but we have to work first and the work is scrapping. So she reluctantly agreed to that. And here we are. Okay, we got that on. Got a couple of breakers and a breaker box. Actually, a lot of breakers. It's a whole entire load panel. It's got pretty much everything in it. I'm going to enjoy scrapping the stuff in this panel. So I've seen where circuit breakers are supposed to have silver in them. And I haven't had a chance to uh, scrap a lot of breakers, but now that I've got this panel, I can do just that. Okay. Well worth the effort. Door set here. And a bonus, and some bonus material. 
all of this is metal. Nice. We could we could really make a a third run to the scrap yard today if we so desired. But I'm still kind of sore from when I fell earlier. I told my wife about it, and the first thing she said, "Did you get it on video?" And I said, "Yes, I did." Uh, at least I hope I got it on video. I haven't looked at it yet, but I believe the camera was still on when I took my nosedive in the alley, so. Oh man, you know, <laughs> I scraped both knees and one elbow, and then uh, uh, my neck hurts. My arms hurt, my shoulders hurt. I don't know how I'm gonna to sleep tonight. <laughs> uh, uh, it's a mess. Anyway, we're getting some darn good scrap here. All right. A, uh, a ceiling fan box, Harbor Breeze. Whoop, so far so good. We got fan blades. We got no ceiling fan, but we got a few pieces here. That's good. You know what, I'm putting up my fence. I might be able to use this wood. And you got the down rod. Okay. Crap has been pretty good. It's a tool base uh, for like a table saw or something like that. And you can get that on. Some shelves. Not in the greatest condition. Pretty torn up. But the rack here is uh, good scrap. Huh, that looks nice. It would be good scrap, but you know what? Someone might pick that up and maybe repaint it and reuse it. Maybe not, but we'll give it that chance. Usually these gates are really super heavy, but this one is not. It's uh, kind of lightweight. Probably still steel though. We got kind of a vintage HP printer. Nothing really useful there. Okay. It's, uh, from back there, I mean, it looked like, of course, a, uh, uh, a lawnmower, but I didn't think it would be an electric lawnmower. I'm just going to put these plastic parts over here. This might actually be something worth taking apart ah, before we take it to the scrap yard. Uh, but first I gotta get it on the scrap wagon. Uh, they never put handles or lifting points or anything like that on these things. Ah, yeah. And it's kind of heavy, which is good because more scrap and maybe even a motor in there that I can scrap. Uh, but uh, well, 
maybe I can get up here and uh, lift it up one more level. <coughs> nope, I'm going backwards. Okay. And there's an electric car. Electric everything these days, right? Not to leave. He brought out some rebar and a rotor. And I see down there, there's some more stuff. So I'm gonna get that on too. Hey, how you doing? Take what you want. It's all trash to me. <laughs> you, I know. I think you thought I was gone, and I circled back. Oh, oh yeah, you can take no, that. No, thank you. Oh, and this. Where's the other one? You Just... know, <laughs> the, the kid that lived here, he was trying to create some tire mount oh, thing. Oh, okay. Use that as a in some concrete and this red. Thing. Yeah, I saw that too down there. Yeah. Huh. I had to break it all apart. So. A failed experiment. Well, yeah, it was a failed experiment. <laughs> At least you tried, you know. You never know. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Ah, uh, no, not really. Maybe, maybe later. I, I do pick up a lot of plants, but I try not to. My, my yard is just full of them. Thank you, though. Wow. This is a lot of good scrap. And it was it was buried under there so I couldn't really see it. But now I do. And there's one more good piece in there too. Two more good pieces. You have a great day there, sir. Thank you. heartbreaking that is a really big uh, treadmill and a really nice looking one too gosh it looks it looks so unused I mean look at that <sighs> wow it's got all the uh, bells and whistles too I wonder if it's a fold-up kind hmm it doesn't look like it folds up Wow, that's uh that is some serious scrapper weight there. Unfortunately, every every bit of my trailer has got stuff on it right now. We can fit this in. Even if we can't get some of the big stuff in, we're still finding enough uh small scrap. And there's an umbrella over there too. Oh, maybe more than one. Oh, it's one of those big ones. I think we can find room for that. Hi. Sorry? She's waiting to pull in her oh, oh gosh, thank you.
it's that time of day. People coming home from work. Uh, uh, is this wire? No, not wire. This is scrap though. So is this oh, water sprinkler? Reusable bags, reusable head whacker, her driveway, but she was waiting for me to move. We we'll get the rest of that uh, umbrella. This is the bottom part, the stand. <clears throat> Heavy and my kind of scrap. Oh, there's a little lizard, a little gecko living in there. Sorry about that. He looks unharmed though. So that's a good thing. So I'm finally headed over to the scrapyard. Uh, it's been a couple of days since uh, I picked up this load and I've been doing some things at the house, including the fence and uh, trying to recover from my injuries from falling into the scrapper trap. <laughs> but I'm on my way, so I'll bring you guys back when I get there. We'll get things unloaded and see how much we got for this load. Scrapper Sam!
hi Colleen. Hello. I can see you in there now. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Scott for Sam, I want to tell you something. It's so funny you came today because two hours before you came, I was like, where is Scrapper Sam? Thank you for coming. Hey. How's your day, Scrapper Sam? What's this? We got changed. We went up, Sam. We went up to seven cents. Oh, wow. Yes. No there way. I'm very happy for the customers. Oh, man. I'm going to make that big news everywhere. Please do. We went up to seven. Thank okay. you. Hey, everybody. Scrapper Sam's the bomb. Um, he's a good dude. Watch his show. And hey, come up to Phoenix and sell your scrap. Thank you, Colleen. You're welcome, Sam. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay. Way that I'm going to get into the small scale today, so we'll just uh, man, I'll have to. Well, I'll bring it back another time, but uh, it's uh, a little annoying that the line is so long there, but it's okay, you know. We got uh, some money on our big scale stuff, they said the prices went up so. Let's see, we got 50, $53, that's not too bad, $53, so I'll be posting that, and they said they went up on their price to $0.07 cents or something like that, I, I can't read it, it's too dark in here, but uh, I'll definitely report on that too. Alright, thanks for coming along, I appreciate everybody who subscribes, shares and likes my videos. Uh, Please let me know if there's something that you would like to see. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Scrapper Sam.